For the past few days on to the point, we have been reporting that Governor Newsom would meet with city and county leaders from across the state today to talk about reducing homelessness. It comes after the governor withheld $1 billion in funding for new housing and services, saying that there needed to be a better plan to address the growing crisis because the current one would have collectively reduced the state's homeless population by just over 2% over the next four years. Well, that meeting just wrapped up in downtown Sacramento. Media was not allowed inside, but the governor says the meeting went beyond well. Political reporter Morgan Reiner is hearing from the governor and the mayors tonight. Governor Gavin Newsom had an agenda walking into Friday afternoon's meeting. Get all 75 applicants he's withholding money from to agree to what his team believes will help better solve the homeless crisis. I'm, I'm pleased that everybody was sincere in, in their not only desire to be here today and present, but to, to commit uh, to a higher ambition. Some of the best practices include utilizing available land for supportive housing. He said about a quarter have agreed so far. I'm grateful that uh, over, you know, I think we're two dozen or so uh, folks have signed up to commit formally. The decisions are due in two weeks. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg is on board. I think we're all on the same page. He wants to see more aggressive uh, numbers and um, and we're going to provide that. He understands why the governor made the decision to withhold the one billion dollars. I want to defend the governor here. Part of the job of a chief executive is to provoke disruption. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria told me they could have had this meeting without withholding funds. But to the extent that this caught many of us by surprise, um, that really can't be the way things uh, operate going forward. He had to run to the airport right after this meeting, but told me before it started that he wants something from the governor in return. Here, the governor loud and clear, he wants higher targets for reductions. I'm game to, to do that. Uh, in reverse, you know, we have an expectation that the state uh, make these funds uh, permanent and ongoing. So I brought that to the governor. We've committed unprecedented resources every single year. So they know my commitment and my resolve. I'm, I'm not looking to turn my back in the second term on the cities and counties. Now, finding new dedicated money as we enter into what could be a recession with the headwinds, one has to be sober about that. 75 applicants in this state that want that money have until November 29th to formally agree to the governor's asks. If they do agree, they could see that money start to flow in as soon as Monday.